So this video is about my recent experience with Amazon. I'm calling it Tofu D2 and the Chronicles of the Lost Droid. So for my birthday this year, I thought, you know, I should buy myself a little present. Even though I kind of bought myself a camera already, but this one had to be bought. I bought myself this little guy. It's a Spiro R2-D2 droid. I thought, well I'm not related to Luke Skywalker, like right, I'm not the chosen one. So the fact that this R2-D2 was going to be delivered either on my birthday, the 8th of December, or the day before, the 7th of December, meant that it had to be some kind of destiny, a fate. The Force was with me. So I fought. So came the day that the parcel arrived. I was over there, I was playing Star Wars Battlefront on my TV, all of a sudden, knock at the door. I was like, great, I was expecting the parcel by 8 o'clock, R2-D2 is here, oh my god, I need to stop playing Battlefront to open it. I open the parcel, I rip it open practically, I'm so excited, I'm like, oh my god, my birthday's like in the morning, and I'm confronted with two boxes of tofu. I don't know how they made this mistake. Right, you, everybody gets one mistake. I wasn't that angry. I was a tiny bit annoyed, but I wasn't angry. I still, to this day, don't know how they made the difference between R2-D2 and Tofu a thing. I'm guessing this is a long shot where I come from. If somebody asks you a question and the answer is yes, they say, ah, ah, that's right, yeah. So the only thing I can think of is that somebody said, put an R2-D2 in that box. And they misheard R2 and said Tofu. They thought that they said R2-D2 and then they showed it back saying R2. Which would explain why I had two boxes of Tofu instead of an R2-D2. So, I requested a replacement droid and it said that it would be here within five days. So, the day of delivery comes along, be expected by 8pm, 5pm rolls around. Still no parcel. 6 pm rolls around. 7 pm rolls around. 8 pm rolls around. I realise I had an email and it says, Your parcel has been lost in the post. I'm aware it was snowing that day, but surely if the parcel wasn't white, you're not gonna lose it in the snow. I, I do not understand where it's gone. Where did they disappear? To? Where? I went to find an email button to contact the company to tell them that the items have been lost in the post because they're clearly in a white box and they've been placed in the white snow. Surely that's the only logical explanation. Could I find a help page? No, I could not. I could not find a page where I could send them an email. I had to go into Google and search how to contact Amazon to get up a page which I couldn't seem to find on the website, in Amazon's website, to contact them. And I went through this long-winded conversation with a person who I can't remember the name of, but it was like really slow back. It was like when you are younger and you first like get MSN Messenger and you just add people from like your class or something at school. You don't want to do what to say to them. You don't even want to talk to these people, but like you try anyway. So somebody will go like, what are you up to? I uh, just, just watching a DVD. Cool. I don't know what I meant to say now. You've just ended the conversation. I know R2, I know. I'm sad too. Can you confirm the order? I said, yes. It's R2-D2, Spiro Droid, and a microscope. And they said, oh, does it include the R2-D2 in the order as well? I was like, yes, you are Amazon. Surely you know what order I have, I have asked for. What would you like to do? I was like, I'd like a replacement. And they go, I will go and do this thing on your order thing or whatever and refund the other item. I was like, okay, minutes go by. And they said they'd give me next day delivery for free, but it didn't count as next day delivery because we had the weekend. So I didn't actually get it for about three days. So I get it, I turn it on, it, it pushes out its little leg like this. I was like, yes, we're in business. It does this. Which is very cool, it's off the film. It's from A New Hope and it's an amazing animation. But then the lights no longer work on the front or the pack and it is no longer moving or making a noise. So I think the battery must be dead, which I re realised when having this one, the batteries are already charged. So I plug it in, nothing. All I can get to happen is I can make the lights come on and if I do this, it'll scream. That's the only thing, I can't even get the wheel to come out for the front. I realised 
the force is not with me. So I'll get back onto Amazon again. I have the same conversation to Amazon to tell them to sort this out. And I go, and literally this time I just said, I want my money back. And I can't get my money back because the replacement, which is broken, is zero pence, zero pence. So I can't get a refund. So they sorted it out. Once again, Amazon, can't fault them on that. They did sort out my problem. And I literally went and got this from the Disney store and I really regret just not going to the Disney store straight away. The person who saved me in the Disney store went, is this a gift for anybody? And then I, it just set me off and I was like, well it was a gift, but, <laughs> and then I just told this entire story and they were sad for me and I felt like, I, I felt like I got something off my chest. Tofu though, tofu, of all the things, tofu. So that was my story about Amazon. If you've had any frustrating stories about Amazon or any online uh, shopping websites, let me know and we can be annoyed or angry or whatever together about it. And I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna leave you with some R2D2.